Hello, welcome to the IOLINK Smart Light Indicator uh, application video for panel mounting. Uh, here we see a, a simple operator station panel. Uh, we have uh, two different uh, smart lights installed into this one. Um, here you can see we're using this in segment mode. You can see we have uh, six different segments around here. You can see how it's divided out into all these three areas. So essentially here we have uh, six indicator lamps, something like this. Here's a torque down station. This would be indicating some, uh, uh, some um, using the level mode, this would indicate some sort of torque down or how far you've progressed, something along those lines. This is how this, uh, how this would be. So what we do with these legend plates, uh, they are custom legend plates. Um, if you would see a typical housing, um, you would see these uh, housings. This is a typical store-bought uh, uh, off-the-shelf uh, enclosure. You can see typically they're too close together. So what we need to do here is we need to do our own holes and here you can see a standard hole. This hole was made using a standard knockout punch. Every panel shop has them. We have one here. It will show you a little video of it uh, running in, uh, in the, um, how we cut the, that punch out. Here you can see there's a pilot hole drilled. Uh, we're inserting uh, the punch into the hole. Simply torque it down and uh, pull it out and there you have your hole. So that's how that would work. Um, these holes are very uh, standard. Uh, this is a standard issue safety switch. Uh, you can see keyways just like our smart lights. Same kind of thing you would install into the hole. Find the, the good, nut it up, and then there you have your, uh, your standard knockout. So uh, as far as the legend plate goes, as I mentioned, they're very customized. So we do have some standard um, templates that they can use, but really it's just your M22 hole. And any way they want to lay this out, uh, the customer is able to lay it out any way they want. So here, if you're six uh, segments, you can do that. If you're splitting it in half, you can do that. Uh, anything along those lines is certainly worthwhile. Single legend plates, as you can see here, very simple how that might work. Single legend plate, um, again, really good for torque or status, station status, anything like that where it can show more, uh, more information in that regard. When you're using them in, in this mode, uh, make sure you use the gasket. The idea is the indicator seals to the legend plate and the legend plate seals to the enclosure. That's typically how they work. Uh, you can see some of these, in this case, this has some sticky on the back to help seal that and then a sealing to the, to the legend plate. It's typically how they work. Uh, what's nice about this, of course, uh, we've discussed this before. Here you can see how the expansion mode works. Uh, one, basically one IO-Link port connecting both of those uh, indicators together very simple way to do panel mounting. So again, make sure that you uh, uh, call out your 22 millimeter knockout, make sure you position the first segment correctly, and then you're able to install these in panels, no problem.